Hi guys. I have to restart this video because Callie went up and looked at my phone and turned the video off. <laughs> She's sitting right there. Artemis is right there watching out the window. Um, so it is today is May 22nd, the Tuesday. I usually do my videos on a Wednesday night, but um, tomorrow night is my little sister has her last concert of middle school. So I'm going to go to that, um, and then um, John and I are going to marriage prep after that, and so I want to get this video done today. So um, after work, I went to Michael's, um, and just to go wander around, kind of look at what's going on, um, and I ended up buying, um, excuse me, I ended up buying myself a dough bowl. It's not a bowl, it's a box. Um, I don't have it upstairs, it's downstairs right now. It's about a foot long, three inches wide, about two, three inches tall, um, dark brown. It's got handles on either side. It's super cute. Um, and so that'll be my um, dough bowl to put all my smalls in once I actually put some smalls together. So today's going to be probably a fairly quick video. Um, I have two finishes, three whips, and a bunch of haul. Um, little life stuff. Callie is four months old today. Or not today. She's four months old Saturday. Um, Artemis is still... What is see. You were born in November. She's almost two years old. She was born in November. So, she's almost two years old now. She's staring out the window. The window height is just high enough that she can just hunch over a little bit and put her chin on the ledge of the window. Let me see if I can get it. And she just sits there. She loves it. She loves that spot. And Callie's going to be on the bed smelling everything. Jonah so wonderfully pulled laundry out of the dryer and put it on the bed and left it for me to fold when I get home. Granted, I came home and the house is vacuumed and some of the laundry is done. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to um, make dinner and then fold some laundry and I think we're going to watch Mr. Holmes tonight. Um, I've been wanting to see it for a while, and Jonah finally found it for me. So, I can watch that tonight. Um, so, Mania went right out the window. Oh, I had more Ice Life updates, so, sorry. Um, I bought my wedding dress, um, so I'm just waiting for that to come in. Since I have such a small size, the designer actually has to make my dress. Um, so, there isn't just like a, I can buy it off the rack kind of thing. Because I'm so small, um, they don't make they don't make my size and keep it there on hand to just give out. They only make it if somebody needs it. So, hi. So, um, they are making my dress. It'll be here September. I will have about two weeks to uh, get it altered and ready for the wedding. But um, I talked to the seamstress and she said she's more than confident that they'll get it done. So, um, other than that, um, we're hopefully going to be moving next week. Um, after this weekend, hopefully the other tenants that are in the house that we're going to will be out and we can move and I can stop coming home to a house that's unpacked <laughs> or that's packed up. Um, I went after work today, so after work I went to my, uh, I went to Michael's and I bought that box and then Taco Bell's right next to it, so I went and got a Baja Blast freeze. She's gonna lift the water off the side of it. Um, I got a Baja Blast. Okay, that's enough. I bought a Baja Blast freeze and I went up to pay for it and somebody paid for it for me. So I got a freeze. Sit. So I got a free freeze today. So it's just a good day so far. There's puppies. These puppers. Go get her. So, laundry has to get put away. I think, yeah, that's more laundry right there. Right there. And laundry in the bed. We tend to do all our laundry in like one big bulk load. Or not one big load, but we do, we wait and wait and wait and wait. And then it's like, oh, yeah, we should do laundry. And then we do like six loads of laundry all right in a row. Um, so, all right. Two finishes, three whips, and haul. Let's get into it. So, obviously... Seeing as the last time I talked to you was the 15th and I only have five projects that I worked on, clearly Mania just went right out the window. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm done with Mania. Hey! Hey! No, all done. Artemis, go lay down. Artemis, 
the ladle. <sighs> I don't understand why they like to fight all the time. Artemis, no. Come here. 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 Lay down. Lay down. Lay down, not on top of me. No. No, stop. No. Do you too. Ow! Don't bite me. That was not nice. It bit my arm. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going to show you guys my whips. Or my finishes. I finished these. Actually, I finished both of these on the same night. I pride myself. It was... What night was this? Was this Saturday? No. Sunday. I finished these both on Sunday. So this is... Oh, goodness. What year was this? Hold on. I might be able to get it. Hey, stop that. No, maybe not. I don't know the year. I can tell you it was a uh, September, October issue. <laughs> so this... Um, the... Nesting hen in the apple box. I didn't do, so I did everything but the border that goes all the way around. And here it is. It's so cute. The back stitch just does absolute wonders. So. So cute. That's a little chick. I thought it was an apple. It's a chick. I didn't look at the pattern that well, but. I decided not to do so not to do the border. Um, I like it without it and I can easily put this in a hoop or I can whoop, I can frame it if I wanted to frame it. So either way, it's cute. It was a fun stitch. Chicken doesn't have any eyeballs, but um. So I was on a piece of tw random 28 count white fabric that I got um, a while ago from one two not one two three when I got at Stitchville. Hey, quiet. There's a dog outside. That I got at Stitchville. Um, that just was like a bunch of random pieces of scraps that they had must have when they were cutting fabric for somebody. That was a scrap that was on the edge. Oh, that's so good. And Michelle Bendy. Bendy stitcher. My bluebird is done. My bluebird is done. Look. Okay, ignore the really, really crappy French knots that are not even remotely close to where they're supposed to be, but I just stuck them in there. Look at how pretty. Isn't that pretty? I'm so happy it's done. So, I didn't initial this one. I'm kind of like not really in the initialing... I don't really like them on there anymore. I don't want to see my initials on them. So I'll just, whenever I frame them or frame them or put them in a small or whatever, I just make sure I put the year I stitch it on the back. But look at it. Look at it. And this was on 36 count. 36 count Ren, I believe. Oh! Um, so I've been spending a lot of time going back over my old videos, and I'll be doing it for all my new videos. In the description bar below, I will have any floss tubers or shops that I, that are online, or actually any shops in general, that I've mentioned in the video, um, I will have them linked. I will have all of the details for any whips, new starts, and finishes that I have, so the project, or the title of the pattern, or kit, who made it, and the fabric that it's on, and... Um, any purchases, I'll write the name of the pattern and who it's by. Fabric, I'll write the name of the fabric and the count and everything like that. So anything, if you see it and you're like, ooh, that's cool, and I didn't say what kind of fabric it was or who designed it or anything like that, it'll all be below. So from now on in all my past videos, I'm going back and doing all of those as well. There, everything is linked below. Or not linked, it's at least listed below and it's broken out. So most of them are in order, so... Like, all my whips and new starts are in one section, and they're all in order by the video. Hey! Hey! No! No! Callie, lay down. Artemis, lay down. Not, why don't either of you listen to me? Yes, just chill. Um, 
So they'll all be listed below and they're in order of the video. So there she is in all her glory. Um, I did have somebody ask if I could do a video explaining how I work, how I like used, took the chart and started stitching it and how I did it because there are fractionals in it. Um, it is kind of goofy how to set it up or how to start it. I kind of got scared at first when I started it, so I might do a video showing part of the chart, how I started it, and how I looked at the chart and determined what to do, like for the fractionals or three quarters stitches, or all the fractionals, the quarters, three quarters, all that kind of stuff. I might do a video of that at some point with that. Um, the other three whips that I worked on, I worked on this guy for a little bit. Um, this is my Welcome to Our Hive by For My Boys. Let's see if I can slide over this way. I don't want to... Ah! By For My Boys. Um, I did order a bunch of floss from... Ooh, I have floss to show you. I have to show you things that I bought, other things that I bought that are not out here. Um, anyway, I went on one, two, three, stitch, and I ordered a bunch of floss. Um, and one of those was brandy for the hive and the load-in that I'm using for the stems so I could work on this. So everything on here is done except for the rest of the, the other two flowers. Hey! Hey! All done. Artemis, all done. Um, the two flowers, um, because I want to do this, the stems on this side first, because, again, I'm so close to the top and I have to adjust this one. So... Um, everything else is done though, so I just need the stem on this side, and the two flowers, and the hive, and I'm done. Except for the two bees if I decide to do those, but I don't want to put buttons, so I have to figure out what I'm doing for them. So, that's how it looks. The hive is huge. I did not realize how high, big the hive was going to be. But, ignore the hoop mark, but I love it. I love it, I love it. Um, once I have a finish, I will go through and tell, say what my colors were again. Um, I did say it, I believe, in... Woo! Just pulled the little plastic piece off. Um, I believe I did say it in one of my Mania videos when I started it. But I don't remember. So, that's a whip. The other whip I worked on I almost finished, but I think I have a counting error, so I have to go back and figure out what happened. Is, again, Michelle Bendy. Bees and Clover. Ignore the really crappy lighting, because I'm <laughs> doing this in front of the window, but the sun's here, so it's, yeah, okay. So, again, I'm working on this corner down. Hey! All done. Both of you. Stop it. Um, I'm working in this corner at the arrowhead. And... I am almost done. I just have this light green, and... Excuse me, there is an, I put this pink piece is too far up. It needs to be down, or it needs to be this way, one more stitch, I believe. Yes, it needs to be this way, one more stitch. So this part and this green piece has to come out, and I think that's the only error. So I'm going to have to go back and make sure that's the only error. And that's why I got frustrated. I started putting it in, and I was putting in this piece this green piece, and this green piece is supposed to have another row like this, where it's the one space one. Hey! No! 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 Go away! Go lay down! No! No! This happens all the time. Artemis. No! Go lay down. So I was putting in this green piece down the side. And there's so it stops on that one. There's supposed to be another row with the two, but it's not supposed to touch this green piece, which is how I figured out that this part was wrong. But I want to make sure that that is the only wrong piece and nothing else is wrong. So I have to go back and figure that out, but I haven't because I got frustrated and stopped working on it and moved to this last whip. Which is Summer by Filigram. And I actually got pretty far on this. Um, we d I did this while watching Justice League. Joan and I rented Justice League. And I have almost the full bottom. So I just have the bird 
There's um, the rest of the ladybug that's here. Um, yeah, so the ladybug, a leaf, the bird, and then some flowers here and a little bit here, and I'm done with this piece, I believe. Oh no, and there's wheat here. There's wheat on both sides. These little wheat pieces. So I'm almost done with the bottom, though. So, again, that's a piece. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog panting next to the phone. Um, uh, this is a piece that I chose all my own colors. I did show this a while ago. I don't even remember what video. But, again, when I finish it, I will show all of the colors that I used. Because I did change all of the colors in this. Not a single color in the one that I'm doing matches this. But they're pretty dang close to the colors. Oops. Artemis, go lay down. Go. Lay down. Lay down. Thank you. So, while I'm talking, I'm going to dig into my trunk that's right here that has the other pieces that I bought and I didn't pull up. So, I got some stuff on Stash Unload. Okay, a lot of stuff on Stash Unload. Don't tell Jonah. Jonah, if you're watching this, pretend you didn't hear that. And this one. Um, I blame this pack of things on Pam from Just Keep Stitching. It's all your fault. And I thank you for it. So she showed in one of her videos, hold on, I gotta find the right pattern here. She showed a pattern that she got from Willow Hill Samplings Birth of a Nation uh, pattern group thingy. Crossing the Delaware, which has George Washington crossing the Delaware. And then she said, it's part of the series. The series is called Birth of a Nation. So it's a bunch of pieces that are around 1776 when America was founded. And so I got all of them. Plus one. So I'll show you all the pieces in the Birth of a Nation series. There's five patterns, and then I got a sixth one. So, this one, like I said, this is... Oh my gosh. No. No. This is Crossing the Delaware. Oh my god, that's so bright. Crossing the Delaware. It's not focusing right, but it's George Washington. It's super cute. Um, that one was 1776. This is 1775. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, Paul Revere's Ride, 1775. It's a lot of flipping green. Boston Tea Party, 1773. I like this one. I think it's so cute. It's got little boxes floating in the water. Little people dressed up like Indians. You can't even see that. There's little people dressed like Indians on the boat. It's so cute. And then Betsy Ross. 1777. There's a little cat. This one does has the least amount of, like, huge blocks of color, which would be nice. But, I mean, huge boat. Huge boat, lots of water. Giant chunk of grass. Hey! All done. Lots of water. And... So that has the least amount of giant blocks of color, which would be kind of nice to work on. And then, so that was all of the Birth of a Nation. There's five of those. That's only four. Hold on, I'm missing one. Going back in my box. There's one more pattern in the series. Then I have the other one. Here it is. This is the last of the series. It is We the People. So this is the Constitution, or the Declaration of Independence. We the people of the United States, in order to form our perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, yada yada yada. This is the one I'm going to start first. I consider this to be like the... Actually, I... Well, no, I, I bought the floss for this one, so I'm going to start this one first. At first I was like, you know, I should consider this the start of the series, but it's really not, because this is 1787. And these are in the 1770s. 
And then the last one that's very similar but not part of the series is the Star Spangled Banner. So the song that was written by, what is it? Keys. I think his name is Keys. I don't even know if it says in here. Nope, it doesn't. So this one will be easy because it's all words. I mean, this is all words and then there's this little... Oh my gosh, I hate this light. We're going to turn you a little bit. Then there's this little blue strip of scenery at the bottom. But everything else this is all just the words of the song. Um, so, that's the only other that's not part of the series. So, I bought all of the floss to do this one, and I just have to find fabric for it. Hey! Lay down. Artemis, all done. Hold on a second. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. So, I bought all the floss to start the... We the people. So... That's the one I'm going to start. I just have to find fabric in my stash for that. So, because that's an order from one, two, three, stitch that should be coming through. So, that's all. Those are my, that's the first start of my purchases. <coughs> so, that was <coughs> Willow Hill Sampling. It's adorable. I'm probably going to talk to, uh, talk Pam into trying to do a sow with me if she wants to. When I start the, uh, Crossing the Delaware one that she has. So, and then I got this one in the mail that says, please do not bend, and it came bent in half, of course, because how else do male people pay attention to the thing? I got some floss and two pieces of fabric. This is all from Stash and Load. So, I got this piece of 28 count fresco cachelle. Actually, this isn't going to fit on there. This won't fit on it, but this is a good color for it. It's fabric. Right, she feels the need to smell everything. So it's a 13 by 17 piece of fresco. I kind of wish that like the modeling that's here was on the whole thing, but it's only on that corner. And you can't even, you can see it really well there. You can't see it as well in real life. So I got that piece of, yeah, 28 count fresco cachelle. And I got this piece of... Oh shoot, it's on my phone, it's on my phone what the name of it is, I just, obviously I'm using my phone so I can't, stop it! Yes, you're adorable, go away, go that way. Hold on, alright, I've separated them, we'll see how long this lasts of them being calm. Pink and purple fabric. So, I think actually, I think this is a 13 by 17 as well. Just about. It's probably like gonna probably like a twelve by seventeen. So, and I don't know what this one is. I don't remember what I bought. I don't remember what I bought. Why would I remember what I bought? So I'm gonna have to put a tag on that one so I know what it is. Ooh, that's gonna make on it. And then I got this floss. Um, so I got two skeins of. Mo's Sale Snitch. It's this yellow and gray. It's actually coming up pretty good. So I got two skeins of that. I got two skeins of Mo's Sale Carol Ann. So it's like this um, pink and yellow. More yellow than pink. There's just pink on just the little ends. Um, two skeins of Mo's Sale Haystack. So the dark... Um, Brownie purple isn't that dark in real life. It's a little bit lighter than that. So, there's those two. And then these don't have any name attached to them, so I'm going to have to look again on them what they were. I don't even think any of these are actually the same. Nope, they're all different. I got this one. It's got gold, greens, and yellows. Um, purple, orange, and browns. That's not helping. Hold on. Turn the brightness up. Maybe. No. Purple, orange, and brown. Over this way, we'll pour the more sun. Whatever. 
Um, whoops. Blues and yellows. And there's like a little bit of green right there where they mix. But it's mostly just blue and yellow. Um, orange, green, and brown. I like this one. Uh, this is a smaller one, so I don't think it's a full stain. Um, blue and brown. A little bit of green in there. There we go. It's not that bright. Like, combination of that and that. So, that one's pretty. There we go. That's better. Get rid of the white. That's better. And this is orange, red, and blue. I love this one, too. I don't usually use anything with this much color variation as these, but I think it could be fun on something where I have, it's like a one color piece, or, yeah, I'll figure something out there. And then she sent me this, um, it's a needle minder with a clip on it. So, like, you could stick it on your fabric and hold your pattern on it. So, that's cute. So I bought those that can go in the garbage now. I have these all separated out so I knew which group it came from. Then I bought two needle house, Little House Needleworks patterns from the Busy Needle, who I believe is going. She had a shop and then she was closing it. Um, this one is Captain's Inn. It reads, a wet sheet and a flowing sea, a wind that follows fast and fills the white and rustling sail and bends the gallant mast. So, and all of this, almost all of it is in specialty floss. And then Mississippi Riverboat, I've been wanting this one for a while. Sawyer and Finn Riverboat Company. Love it. Um, okay, so, oh, here you go. The poem, A Wet Sheet in a Flowing Sea, was written by Scottish author Alan Cunningham. Callie, no. So that makes me happy. It's a Scottish guy. And this one, the stories of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn are some of my favorites. When you get tired of your hours of stitching, why not go back and read some of the old classics? So. Tom Sawyer, Huck Finn. You get it. You get it. I don't need to tell you. Ooh. Ah! Sorry. I'm really high-pitched. So I got those two. And then, I kept fabric for days. So I separated them out. Opalescent, non-opalescent. Um, so, let's see. I think she has everything labeled, so I don't need this. It was the packing sheet. Because this is from... This was from Stash and Load as well. And I don't know if this was like she had, I think this is just stuff that she bought. So some of it's Ada, some of it's not. We will go through it as we go through it. So we'll go through the opalescence first. Not as many opalescents. Um, This is Crystal Phantom by Picture This Plus. It's a 16 count Ada. So it's this nice deep blue with sparkles in it. So, there you go, now you can see the sparkle. All that, those dots on there is just opalescence. Um, this is Crystal Pewter by Picture This Plus, also 16 count Ada. I'm not going to open it up. You can't see the sparkle in that one as much. There you go, there's a the sparkle. So, this one is, ooh, this is a big one, with a little chunk missing. I think this was a miscellaneous. So I did a bunch of pieces, and then I did a grab bag of pieces. So this this looks like a 16 count as well. I don't know what color it is. Um, and actually, this actually might be Monster Mash. No, Monster Mash is the green one that I have. I don't know what this one is. I think this might have been in the grab bag. So this is just a purpley pink, or purpley, purple gray, with opalescence in it. Oh gosh, um, this is hand dyed by Stephanie, Silver Mist Ada, in 14 count. This is just a scrap. Um, so, again, just a gray opalescent. 
This is a 18 count white opal. You can't even see, but there is. It's opalescent. There you go. Opalescent. Just white Ada. Um, and then this is not labeled. But this looks like... This looks like the... Um, this looks like pewter. Almost. Just another gray. Opalescent. And that one looks like 16 count as well. So those are all my opalescents, and I've never stitched on I've never stitched on an opalescent before, so that'll be interesting. So put all that back in the bag. I'll have to make sure that those all stay labeled. And now the non-opalescent. This is 18 count Ada in Silver Mist, so there was the A, the opalescent one, and this is the non-opalescent. And this is by Fabrics by Stephanie. This one is, I believe, Artemis, stop kicking stuff. Just a, yep, this is just a piece that's not labeled. It's just like the um, off-white, almost light, light gray. I should probably fold that properly. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to get sneeze. Whew. This is Picture This Plus 16 Count Ale, which is very interesting because I have a piece of ale in 28 count. 28 or 32, that's very different. It's a lot darker than this, so this is a lot lighter of an ale. And not as modeled. It looks modeled on the camera. It's a little modeled on the camera, but you can't really see it. Um, this doesn't have a label. It looks like another 16 or 18 count. Blue, blue Ada, very modeled. Um, this is 16 count fog, which has a sticker on it, so I can get the sticker off of it. I don't know if anyone has no, has told you or if you know, but if you have stickers on your fabric, make sure you take them off and tag them, staple something on, staple a piece of paper on, because if you leave this on, it will, the adhesive does tend to transfer onto the fabric, and then you'll have a sticky spot. Uh-uh, don't, you almost touched the button too. She almost touched the button to go back and stop the video. So, um, if you have stickers on yours, make sure you take them off and get like a pe little piece of cardstock that has the name of it, and the size, and whatever you want information on it, and staple it to the fabric, rather than having a sticker on there, because the adhesive can stay. So, this is Fog. This is Hand Dyed by Stephanie, 18 count, 18 count Storm. So, it's just a nice gray. Ooh, they have an 18 written on there. This is just a piece of, actually almost looks like Fog again. This one, ooh, it does have a sticker. Um, 16 Count Ancient by Picture This Plus. This is not what I pictured Ancient to look like. It's like a orangey brown with gray modeling, which is not what I was expecting Ancient to look like. Good to know. Um, Hand Dyed by Stephanie Nantucket, um, 16 Count Ada. So it's just another really nice light blue. Again, stickers. This is... 14 count Rustico Ada in Oatmeal. So just a small little square. Small little square of random blue. Looks like uh, 18 at least. Um, this is Oatmeal Ada as well. 16 count. This is a very large piece of something that's not labeled. That's pretty. Blue with, like, oranges in it. So, bluey gray with orange in it. This is another scrap of I Don't Know. It's a nice, um, it's not showing up right. Mm, that's just showing up white. Um, it's green, not blue. It's green. It's like a nice, light, light green. This is my, ooh, puppy. This is Monster Mash, 16 count Monster Mash. So, nice green color. Hold on a second. Hey, sorry, dogs stink. 
This is 16 count Mirage. So it's a gray with, um, here, this side shows the brown a little bit better. Some brown in it. Um, 25 count Ivory Lugana. It's just, it's more yellow. There you go. That's closer. It's a little bit more yellow than that. Again, I'll have to get the stickers off of those. 28 count Sterling. So, and last one is 36 count Vintage Buttercream, which, again, it's a little bit more yellow. Excuse me. A little bit more yellow than that. So, that is all my non-opalescent Ida. And I'll have an order of floss coming in from 1, 2, 3 soon. And I think that is all of my orders. And I should have everything now. So, all of that fabric came in this big priority mailbox. And then it's all going back in. The priority mailbox. Along with those. So, I'm going to have to start organizing. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to have to start organizing my stuff again. Um, and figure out how I'm going to do some of this organizing stuff. So, I have some pieces that are finished now that have frames picked out. I just have to... I'm waiting till we move. Before I sit down and try and start framing them, I have too much stuff that's packed right now that I don't even want to... I say I have so much stuff packed, and then you see my room and, like, nothing's packed. But I have stuff packed up for, like, all my craft stuff, so... All my craft stuff except for my cross-stitch stuff is packed. I'm waiting until, like, the absolute last minute to do that. Um, so, once we, um, once we move, I'll be able to start... Actually, I'm going to save that, because that is a fantastic thing to mail things in, because it's hard, so they don't fold it. Anyway, um, I'm waiting until we move before I try and frame anything again. Um, before I basically I do any finishing, I'm just going to wait till I move. Um, <laughs> dog is so goofy. So, um, I'm going to let the dogs out, let them run around, probably go start dinner. We're doing, um, taco salads tonight. And, and then I'm going to sit in front of the TV, watch Mr. Holmes and Maybe stitch. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided if I'm in the mood to stitch. I am, but I'm not. I'm in the mood to start everything. And I'm trying not to, which is supposed to be what mania... I mean, that was kind of the start of mania, was to start all the things. But I don't want to start all the things, because then I have too many projects. So, we'll see what I do. I don't know yet. I'm also trying to organize, like, my magazine stash and kind of start to get like a list of all the patterns that I do have, get a list of like what floss, fancy flosses I have, get a list of all the fabrics that I have, um, kind of get an idea of what I have so that I don't buy things and then go, oh, well, I could have used this instead. Hey, stop it. Hey, no, no, go lay down. That was gross. I'm just like drooled all over everything. I know, I know. It's just so hard because there's people outside. Yeah. Um. No. Go. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go. Go, go. Go lay down. Stay. Yeah, I know. It's so rough being you, isn't it? It's just so rough being you. Oh. Just back. I wonder if Jonah's coming home soon. Probably. Sorry. This way? There we go. 6.50. He'll be done with work in about 10 minutes. So, hmm. What do you think, bud? I know, me too. Me too. I don't want you to lick me, though. Um, don't lick me. Stop. Just go away. This is what she does. She's supposed to be center of attention all the time. <laughs> she hears people talking. Alright, I'm gonna go put all this stuff away. Again, um, I am putting all the information for everything. Um, I'll have the fabrics listed if I know the name of them. Oh my goodness. I will get back.
um, of all the patterns that I have that I showed today listed down below. Everything. Stop. Go lay down. Stop trying to climb on me. <sighs> I will have. Lay down. Lay down. Thank you. I have the names of everything that I showed you guys today listed down below. Um, and maybe when I move to the new house, I'll do another organization video of how I end up doing everything. I haven't quite decided how I'm doing it yet. So we shall see. But I'm going to go because I've rambled enough for the last like five minutes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go. I don't know what else to say. I'm tired. It's been a day. So my carpets were getting cleaned in my office. So I was like in and out of my office so I could be there. And then they had to vacuum, so I had to leave my office. And then they were done vacuuming, so I went back in my office. And then they needed to shampoo the carpets, so I had to leave my office. And then I came back, but my floors were all wet, so I was kind of like, every time I'd leave my office from my carpeted thing out into the hall, which is just, like, glossy concrete, I'd practically fall on my butt every time, because I had hit the change as soon as one foot came off the carpet, my feet were wet. And I'd hit the glossy concrete and just kind of go, whoop. Almost fell. Didn't, but almost did. So, um, we've got lots of, i got meetings galore this week and stuff that we have to get done. And, yeah. So, I'm going to go get dinner started so when Jonah gets home, we can just sit down and watch Mr. Holmes and enjoy our night and relax together. So, I will see you guys Hopefully the next time you guys see me, I will be in my new house. Here's hoping. If not, I don't know. I will see you guys later. Happy stitching.